Hello everyone. Today I will be going to teach you about how to make rim topology in Cisco Packet Tracer. For that, you need a minimum of three PCs to make the shape of a ring. So I'm selecting Control and PC so that it, I don't need to keep on selecting the PC. Now I have to care four PCs. So the number of switch I'm going to take here is also four. Note the amount of PC you are going to take will be same as the switch. Go to switch and select this control 295024 switch and so there are four pieces so there will be four switch now the next step is assign IP addresses to all the PC you can assign any IP address to the PC any class A B C any so I am providing a class A address which is 1.1.1.1 the subnet mask will automatically come copy this IPv4 address and paste it in every PC you only need to change the last bit which is our host bit so that there is a difference created FP2 now this is a third PC desktop IP configuration 4 now this is 3 10 desktop IP configuration. Four. After assigning IP addresses to all the PCs, now note when you will be connecting two networking devices like this, this is this is a switch and this is all these four are switch. So you will be connecting and forming a ring shape like structure using this copper cross over wire. So click on this switch. You can select any fast Ethernet port, doesn't matter. Now you have to connect two networking devices with this copper crossover crossover wire. Now look, I have connected every networking devices with a copper crossover wire. Now another thing to be noted is that you have to connect a node which is a non-networking device with a networking device using this copper straight through wire after connecting the PCs to the individual switch they have got now we have to do the simulation part which is transferring our message from one PC to another PC so before doing that Click on the simulation. You have to remove all this filter, show all none, and you have to select the filter called ICMP by going on to this edit filter. ICMP which stands for Internet Controlled Message Protocol, which is the protocol which is used in transferring message from one PC to another PC. So cross and um, close this. Now drag the PDU message in packet data unit. Now suppose I want to send the message from this PC 10 to PC 11. Look, the status is in progress now so i will play this you will see the message is being transferred now so a point to be noted is that in a ring shape like structure it will only take the direction in one way either clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction you can see here it is forming a clockwise direction forming clockwise direction or uh, this symbol or a symbol means it will only follow one direction not both the direction Look, it has arrived to destination address, now it will send back to the same sender's address. But only the same way it came. It will not take both the part. This You can see this PC10 can go to this PC11 using a short path, but this part, path is blocked. This symbol means the path is blocked, this orange symbol, circle shape like symbol. So this is how ring topology is made in Cisco Packet Tracer. So basically what is a ring topology? Uh, ring topology, it is a type of topology in computer network where each device, this each device is connected to each other two neighboring devices. Look, this device is connected to two other neighboring devices and forming a circular shape like path. 
a circular shape like path is being formed here so this is a ring topology so there are some advantages and disadvantages of ring topology as well advantages like uh, fast execution is there means the processing speed increases and better administration is formed in this type of topology which is used in network and there is a straightforward adaptability look i have explained you earlier that it is a one directional flow of data which means it will only send the data in one direction not in both direction a good troubleshooting is good troubleshooting feature is there unique connectivity is there because it is a unique connectivity forming a ring shape like structure and it is also very reliable now coming to the disadvantage part it's quite expensive and the activity rate is also very slow and unprotected use is also there cable breakdown may happen bandwidth deficiencies multi one facility device gets damaged the whole network will fail or we can say if one suppose this switch or this any pc gets damaged the whole network will fail the whole network gets shut down because they are interrelated to each other so this is how ring topology is made in cisco packet this i hope you like my video if you like it then please share and subscribe thank you